الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم عليه وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اما بعد فالسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام بقيه تطشي نداء الرحمن لاهل الايمان ميوات بسم الله الرحمن تبارك وتعالى ديوي دي خام نيوكو غم تتيمبو نتولون سي لا اي تيمير دروم نيار فوك اي دروم نيت 178 jotone jaar ci texto aya bi comme ni ngeen ko deglo won ya ayyuhal ladina amanu qutilu alaykum al qisas fil qatla al hurru bil hurri wal abd bil abd wal untha bil untha fa man ghafiya lahu min akhihi shay'un ittiba'un bil ma'ruf wa ada'un ilayhi bi ihsan dhalika takhfifun min rabbikum wa rahmatun fa man ya'tada ba'da dhalika fa lahu 'adhaabun alim jotone yo firi laay ji kon mu desson njariñ yi nga xamni mom lañ wara jori ci mom muy meññat mi assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh our beloved brothers and sisters in islam the sheikh of allah ta'ala he already went on by explaining the general meaning of these verse 178 in the surah al-baqarah when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is talking about those who believe and we always explain that the saying we believe it is the belief of the heart the statement of the tongue the action of the limbs and the living alone those put in prohibit things from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um today inshallah the sheikh will be going by giving us the fruits the benefit we learn from this verse 178 moy yann yo xamne rek dagn ko ci jukkat tan ko waye jariñ yi nek ci bir laay alquran mom ëpp na lolu inshallah we will take few lessons few benefit from this verse just few of it because no doubt the benefit we learn from the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are vast they are uncountless they are they are uncountable and they you know we cannot combine them so we will just mention few of them uh with the aid and help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Inshallah, we will pick things. Maybe we will want up to eight things. Benefit we will learn from this ayah. Then, Inshallah, we try to develop. But you just come on in. We need to develop the sauce. We will order for you to develop. Man, do teach you all the claim. Number one, from justice, from equal, from upright from safety it is that whoever done something it is for that same thing to be done to him whoever did, did something or done something wrong to someone it is just for that same thing to be done to him this is from islam If you break someone's leg, it's for your leg to be broken. If you cut somebody someone's ears, it's for your ear to be to be to be to be taken. If you close someone's eyes, it's for your eyes to be closed. If you kill, it's for you to be killed. This is the rules and regulation of Al Islam. Kon lolu moy commencement ma do te man to problem. Ñaarel bañ ci jëriñu modi doom adama yépp yam ikanam mandote amul borom dara je amul ko amul dara je amul ko amul jigen ludul lo xamne leg leg rek mu gaar doom adama ta lolu nekkut lo xamne li sax la lu melne euh rek mi ak njam ana de gaar nit ki mu war ci amana gennat now lesson number 2 you should know we all are eco on front of the justice we all the law doesn't go above anyone Everybody is beneath of it, underneath of it. It rules everybody. It control everybody. It govern everybody. We all are equal upon the on, on the law. If the law is over here. We all should comply and abide upon the law. 
Except a few times, sometimes, rarely, that it happened upon the person that is a slave um, and it can be um, free from it and the likes of the stuff. Rarely, rarely, very rarely that this can happen. Some of the scholars they mentioned that when a free person, when a free a free man, he kill a slave, it is not for him to be killed, the likes of that. But uh, our, our, our noble scholar Abu Hanifa, he said he went against it. He said no, whoever kill a person, whoever you might be. The rules should be implemented on you. Doesn't matter you're a free slave, you're a free man, or you're a slave, or whoever you are. But many other scholars, they mention something other than that. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Lesson number three. It is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah showed everywhere Especially in this, in this big case right here Allah says whenever, When someone killed Someone from your family From your family member, your child, whoever he might be uh, And Forgiving him It is better It is better that you forgive him It is better you forgive him They just showing you the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Among the creation, among themselves this we're not talking about between the creator and the creation because he's, he's more more he's more merciful but even among the creation he order and command mercy upon them <laughs> خير lesson number four. It is for that person who is supposed to inherit the deceit one who have all the choices or all the commands um, for him to order that person that kills his family member to be killed. Or he can do something, he say, you know what, I forgive him and I don't want nothing from him. I don't want no money, no penny, I don't want nothing from him. You know, or I order him for be, to be forgiven, but he pay the, 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 the deal. A deer is a bounty that is put over his head and he got to pay for it. You can do either or. Bakar <laughs> Khair, lesson number five or six. Uh, a very important lesson. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He say, Yo akhi. And we all know we are ikhwan. When we say akhi, it means your brother. Allah say, even though this tremendous sin, this this high, this this this, this heavy sin, uh, even though Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He made it haram upon you Allah still say If you commit this sin he, Your brother now Allah is mentioning your brother It means the person He still have faith He's still a Muslim 
So it can be a Muslim, it's not like the others. They think when a Muslim commit a sin, a major sin you outside the fold of Islam. No. You know, you can be a Muslim and you commit a major sin. He commit a sin of, of, of harm, of killing. He commit a sin of adultery. He commit a sin of stealing. He commit a sin of robbing. He's commit a sin of lying. But he's still a Muslim. He's still a Muslim. So no doubt is upon him to repent. But it doesn't mean that he will leave Islam because he committed a sin that he killed someone. No doubt he killed someone, but he's still a Muslim. He committed a sin. Number six. Upon Allah Akbar. Upon these two people, it is for them, even though the situation is rough, the situation is a little hectic, it's difficult. They can be harsh, rough, aggressive, mad, reckless. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered and commanded them to deal with each other nicely, decent, politely, politely. So they're just showing you, even though at the difficult time, when, when, when problem and trial and tribulation is thrown upon you, you still have to deal with the situation kindly and nicely. Even to the person that killed someone from your family. He will kill a family member from you. Who took something important from you, you still have to deal with him nicely. And that person have to ask for his duty, for his wealth, for his money, for his bounty, nicely. And the person have to give it politely, nicely, on time, all of it, not showing him. Don't cut, don't show cut him. Don't act like you're paying him off, like you, you whatever the case is, you do whatever you want, you, you pick point him, you chip in whatever you want and however you want it. No, you give him all his ones together. Nicely, politely, at the best man's pass, best way possible. Jerome Yarelva, Mori, the John Ninko Dembo, Mainit Krainit Nekoman Ninko, Jig Girl Mujahad de Lori de Aguafala, Utenak, Lanekoncha, Dini Bano Israel, G2, Nako Umulun, then Wafal, Korea Mumbayrak. Number seven, it is the ease that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed. Upon the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that is when you kill, you can be relieved by being forgiven by the family. And for you to pay that which you're supposed to pay. Because indeed, the people of before, the people of Bani Israel, life is for life. If you kill, it is no suggestion or no option other than death. If you kill whoever you might kill, you will be killed automatically. Is no no discussion. Is no option. Is no nothing. Just death. Lesson number eight. It is not permissible to be sneaky, to be a traitor. Once you forgive the person, once the person pay his 
do it that he's supposed to. And you forgive him. It is not upon you to cross path on, on the way for you to look at him in the eyes of a killer who will kill from your family member that you're trying to revenge. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says, when this person do this, meaning when he is forgiven and he pay the wealth he's supposed to pay, it is not upon you to go behind him and attack him. Indeed, if you do that and harm and kill them, Allah says, he will, be, he will prepare a term and a severe punishment for you. Because why? Because you became a traitor. You went against the rules and regulations that Allah has pushed forward. إن شاء الله جدا أيها الذين أهلا بشهر الصوم والغفران جتايكم أهلا بشهر الصوم والغفران جتايكم